launch Revit, go to families, new, and let's choose metric generic model face based. Click the open button. And straight away, let's change the category to electrical fixtures. Click the OK button. On my keyboard, I'm going to press Ctrl S to save the file. Find the location. I'm going to call it Socket Outlet UK, and from the options, I'm going to change maximum backups to 1. OK and hit the save button. Let's create eight reference planes. I'm gonna need them to create a front plate and a back box. I'm gonna press RP on my keyboard. Choose pick lines option from the draw panel and set the offset to 43. I'm gonna create outer reference planes for the front plate. Top bottom, left and right. Change the offset to 33 and create inner reference planes for the back box. Top, bottom, left and right. I'm gonna press escape key a couple of times. Next I want to create front panel. I'm gonna go to create tab, forms panel, extrusion, Choose a rectangle from the draw panel. Set the extrusion depth to 9. Radius to 5. Draw a sketch. Lock it. And finally hit the finish edit mode button. Let's go to 3D view just to check. I'm going to change to shade it. Yes, that's what I want. Then let's create extrusion for the back box. Again, create extrusion, choose rectangle, set the extrusion depth to minus 18, radius 5, draw a sketch, lock it. Hit the finish edit mode button. Let's go to 3D view just to check. I'm gonna change that it's a wireframe. Yep, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go to the right view and create two reference planes for the front plate and back box. I'm gonna press RP on my keyboard. Choose pick lines option. Change the offset to 9 and offset it up. Change the offset to minus 18 and offset it down just like so. Next I want to create six length parameters. Plate width, height and depth and then back box width, height and depth. I'm gonna go to family types. Let's create plate width then plate height and plate depth. I'm going to do the same for the back box. And also, I'm going to put a formula here, I'm going to explain in a minute. It's because I want this distance to be always 10 millimeters. I'm going to press OK button. Let's place some dimensions and associate them with relevant parameters. I'm going to press DI on my keyboard. Place dimension to the center.
click on this EQ sign, then place overall dimension. Then I'm going to repeat for this side. Now I'm going to place dimensions for the back box to the sensor first. And then overall, same for this side. I'm going to associate this dimension with plate width, this one with plate height. I'm going to press, I'm going to go to family types and hit the apply button. OK. Now associate this one with box width, this one with box height. Next I'm going to go to the right view and press DI on my keyboard, press tab, press tab, place dimension here. I'm going to change the scale to, to 1 to 2 and place one more dimension for the back box. Tap, tap. I'm going to associate this one with plate depth and this one with box depth. Next I'm going to go to ref level view and let's test it. Let's do a quick test. Yep, as I said, there is always 10 mil distance because of these formulas. I'm going to press Ctrl Z to undo it. I'm going to go to 3D view. Again, I'm going to go to family types and test the depth. And the thing I forgot to do is I need to lock the surfaces to these reference planes. I'm going to go back to, to the 3D view, family types, change the depth to 9, and this one to 18. Hit the apply button. Yep. All good. Next, I'm going to create a void extrusion. I'm going to go to Create tab, Avoid Forms, choose Void Extrusion, choose Rectangle, set the extrusion depth to 9, draw a sketch. I'm going to make this side to be 3 millimeters. this one to be 5. I'm going to make sure that I'm going to make sure that it's 5 millimeters from left and approximately 22 and a half millimeters from bottom. Next I'm going to copy it two times. Make sure that they are 13 millimeters away from each other. I'm going to rotate this one 90 degrees. I'm going to press MV on my keyboard and move it just like so. And finally I'm going to hit the finish edit mode button. Let's go to 3D view. Let's change this to hidden mode. Yep, this is what I want. I'm going to go to the front view and call this one, this reference plane, top. 
Now I'm going to go back to the ref level view. I need to create one more extrusion, so I'm going to go to create tab, work plane, select set, click on the set button, and I'm going to change the work plane to top. OK. I'm going to go to extrusion, choose rectangle, set the extrusion depth to 3 millimeters, radius to 2.5. and draw a sketch fifteen by twenty-five. Yep. Um, hit the finish edit mode button. I'm gonna go to 3D view. Yep, this is exactly what I want. Now let's go to the right view. Create tab extrusion. I'm going to make sure that this checkbox is ticked, chain 1, and draw a sketch just like so. Hit the Finish Edit Mode button. I'm going to go to the 3D view, select it, and drag the ends so it lines up. I'm going to from the properties dialog box I'm going to change it to void. Next I'm going to go to the geometry panel, cut, choose cut geometry. Select the solid extrusion first and then select the void. Just like so. Now I'm going to select the surface on my keyboard I'm, I'm going to press HH to temporarily hide it, rotate it so I can see the back of the back box, the back side of the back box. I'm going to go to the Create tab, Connectors, choose Electrical Connector and select this surface just like so. And finally I'm going to reset Temporary Hide Isolate mode. Finally, let's go to the Manage tab, Materials. I'm going to create a new material and call it White Plastic, just like so. I'm going to go to Appearance, Duplicate it and replace this asset with, let's replace it with PVC. PVC white. I'm going to create another material and call it red paint. I'm going to duplicate it and replace this asset with. Let's choose this one. OK. I'm going to select this one, press HH to hide it. I'm going to select this one and press HH as well to hide it. Next I'm going to select the back box, the front plate and this extrusion and change materials to white plastic. Next I'm going to go to the... I'm going to go to paint choose red paint and paint this surface. Done. And finally I need to reset temporary height isolate mode. A final step would be to load this family into a primitive project and test it. So let's do it. I'm going to select it I'm going to press BX on my keyboard for a selection box. Looks good to me. 